I don't know. <laughs> no, you can't tell. <laughs> oh, she's... I'm trying to say that in a sarcastic way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, I mean, you might be a bit extreme to murder everyone with death fog, but it certainly sends a message not to mess with the dwarves. You can argue about the methods, but her message is clear. Do not mess with the dwarves. Apparently my opinion is not valuable here, so... It's valuable? What do you think, Thing? I... I think slaughtering an entire city is probably not the best way to go about things. Oh wow, she's got a lot of loot. Ooh, that's uh, cool. So I'm sending a whole bunch of unidentified things, a lot of unidentified things to Seville. Alrighty. And, ooh, Isabel's research journal. And a couple keys. Let me read her research journal real quick. And don't forget to recharge your totems as well. Yep. All right, her research journal. Subject, human male, formulation DF12. Observation, expected results. Subject, dwarf female, formulation DF12. Observation, expected results. Subject, human female sorcerer, formulation DF-13. Observations, unusual. Subject resisted initial muscular petrification and lung atrophy and lived seven minutes beyond typical expectancy. Post-test dissection revealed most brain matter still largely healthy. Hypothesis, sorcerers possess greater resistance to death fog and Godwoken may be even more resilient. I've spotted something. Here. Clear out the rest of this. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It's because I don't want to like accidentally walk in. Find anything good amongst the uh, unidentified items, Veal? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, I was just fixing my idol. Um. Uh, the forest ring probably were interested in any of you because it's pyrokinetic hydra's fist and geomancer. The helmet is a magical iron helmet. Um, it requires strength 14, 558 physical armor, 112 magic, uh, plus one to warfare, scoundrel, and summoning. Hmm, okay. Uh, then there's a wand, but none of us use wands, so. Nice thing to sell. <laughs> Idol seems to be fine. With all that poison and death fog. I don't know if um, the, the skill improvements are particularly beneficial, but is the helmet, um, for any of our strength characters, is the helmet good for just physical armor? Can you guys? Uh, I mean, I'll take a look at it if nobody else wants to. 500, sure. damn. Yeah? Do you want to take a look, Beast? Uh, you can send it to Fanny first, it's fine. Okay. Well, this helmet oh, yes. definitely is wow. way better than what he currently has. Um, but you might, you might actually like the uh, armor I'm passing on to you. It's a legendary, level 16 legendary that gives you plus two to wits and plus one necromancer and plus one air with urge so that sure. might be something you're interested in Sweet. oh my all right uh did what, we say what happened what happened uh, 
Death fog. How did that? Uh -huh. Where did that come from? Uh, we someone opened the door and it just triggered. Oh. The trap. Whoops, that was me. Wait, I just opened this room and it was death fog. Don't go on it. Yeah, see how it just shot out poison. Yeah. Uh. I know suppose right. we saved after the fight, did we? Um kind of auto saved. It auto saved before the fight. Oh. <laughs> I don't oh. think Yeah. Let's just here, I'll just resurrect people out of this room. Cause I don't know if we wanna fight again. No. How did we no. goodness, goodness gracious all this death box? Okay, um, my resurrection scroll. We're just gonna have to do a lot of shopping. I can send you mine. Uh, hold on. If you can get me up, I can start tornadoing the death fog. Yeah, hole. that's a good idea. When we get you imagine the... if we didn't have any undead on our team, and that was just like insta game over. Yeah. <laughs> have fun redoing the fight. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think you. Yeah. Next, as soon as we leave, find the, scour all the merchants and buy all of their resurrection scrolls. Yeah, okay. and we're gonna have to I, we're gonna have to refill our idols again. Yeah, because, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, that's frustrating. Okay. Right, I'm gonna save now. <laughs> okay. So basically, we lost six. That's that stinks. We lost six. Uh, I guess the death fog's gone. Can I summon that in there? There's another room beyond that, but I'm not really sure how to get to it. I'm not really sure how to get Ooh, to it. Ooh, nice beast. The tornado right, is such a useful spot. Exactly, I don't know how to get into that rest of that room. Um, it won't let you open up, it. it's just a trap door. Yeah. How do we get there? I guess there's another yeah. door. Oh, if you get if you tornado this side, is there a secret door over here? See if there's oh, yeah. a One second, it's almost cooled down. Oh uh, good, there, there go. is, there Sounds is. Like I think I might have found Justinia. Show yourself. Oh ah! Uh. That is one yeah. thing that's annoying about this game is that you can't, as soon as you walk into a room, they automatically speak to that one person and you can't. Yeah, no matter who it is. like Right. Yeah. That's, yeah, one. Like the Amadia priestess talking to Beast. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, you have the wrong person. Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, it's. It, it's not really that difficult to just have it so that when you click on the person, that you know, that prompts a conversation rather than you enter a room. Yeah. Like, um, I, I, they're probably going for the element of spontaneity and surprise, but it, it means if, if people tied to your personal quest are going to talk yeah. to your other teammates, then yeah. it ruins the experience. I agree. Yeah. Or at least have it to where like you can back out of the conversation mm -hmm. right or like you know you don't get like those special dialogue yeah. options and you can just back out and let the other person do it yeah yeah which we did have at the beginning but then kind of more the more that we got into the game the the more it was like okay well you take your leave that npc walks away Like the queen. 
Isbel the traitor, where is she? I will split her black skull in two. It's time for your answer for your crime, Operation Downfall. But Marcus, I know you can't possibly understand, but she told me of living weapons, crucified monstrosities, marauding warships searching for victims, demons scurrying along the streets. Yes, yes, I've seen all of that. We fought it and beat it. They were already among us, Isbeel said, preparing to steal our children in the name of the Divine Order, masquerading as the poor, the helpless, inciting our people to violence. I only wanted the kingdom to be safe. Ah, oh, this is mm. much better. This is very interesting, yes. Uh, I'm tired of your excuses. How many dwarves died at her hands in the name of security? Destiny's ears redden and her voice rises. She is still queen and she would not have you forget it. You're right. Is that what you want to hear? You're right. Go and tell everyone how right you are. But you know what your rightness won't do. Protect a kingdom. And protected I did while you went off to live your God's damned pirate fantasy. Well, all right, that's all I wanted to hear. See you. No. <laughs> I think the only reason you went after your pirate fantasy is because you are banished. Yeah. That was the only reason why. You were exiled. Yes. What else were you supposed to do? And if I knew then what I knew now, Marcus, I would still exile you. You would walk the Isle of Mist to this day, stalked by demons and living the nightmares they planted in you. Ah, they may try to stalk me, but in the end, I'll always hunt them down. Call me a fool or a tyrant. Call me whatever you want, but I was still there. I was there. I lived reality while you were playing games. Sometimes. Sometimes you have to take some lives to save others. You must understand this. I understand it to an extent, but not to your extent. Justinia takes you in. She sees your resentment and your pain. She sees your confidence and your confusion. She sees Marcus, and she sees the beast. Her breathing slows and her eyes soften. She speaks as both queen and cousin. What happens now? Hmm. Interesting choices. Mm, very. Mm. I've seen enough killing. And I am... I may be a fool most of the time, but I can see when someone's been played. You have a good heart, Justinia. You were just led in a poor direction. You have admitted these weaknesses. But come, we must rebuild together. Have you forgotten your own journey, Marcus? I know you love your people. I know you would see them free. But I must be the one to face them. To release them from the prison I made for them. You are God woken. Think of what you can do for the kingdom as divine. Far more than I can as queen. Go. I will serve the people as they ask. You will serve them as they warrant. Mm. I want her axe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I, use it, but I just want it. <laughs> I can I can still shoot her when she turns around. <laughs> C can we like pickpocket it for <laughs> Pickpocket the axe just like mm. yeah, just right, right out of her hands. <sighs> it's good to have the old cousin back. Justinia smiles widely and bows to you. The beast of the sea, the godwoken, the divine in waiting. 
You will do her proud. You will do your people proud. Well, that was a... That was a really good scene. That was a bit of a surprise. Shit, running fast. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. So, Beast, uh, you seem to have a very... Uh, be very forgiving there. I can be forgiving at times. Well, yeah. it's all in the eyes. You could see that she changed. It wasn't the same tyrant that I rose up against. It was the old Justinia that I remember growing up with. Well, if it's worth anything, I think you did the right thing. Her axe looked sweet, though. That is true. <laughs> she ran too fast. I kind of wanted to feel it. I am still a pirate. Uh, so I've got choices for a reward. Uh, oh, nice. And I just sent Sabiel an unidentified helmet. Oh, okay. What are the choices? So, funny, uh, there's a combat helmet, 453 physical arm armor, two wits, uh, I don't think any of us, anyone who uses wits can use it. It does have a good, it has 453 physical, 96 magic, plus two wits, plus one pyrokinetic, plus one hydrophys, plus one arrow thurge, and it requires 14 strength. Then there's the trekking boots, which is 268 physical, 182 magic, uh, plus 10% water resistance, plus one sneaking, plus 224 HP plus three dodging. Then there's Sibyl's gloves. <laughs> Sibyl's gloves? Right. Sibyl's? I don't know. Oh. S I B Y L. Is that how you spell your name, Sibyl? Uh, no, mine is S E B I W L E. Oh, okay. Um, that's plus 10 fire resistance, she plus two initiative, plus people. 224 health, plus two crit chance. Requires 14 intelligence. I don't really need any of these things, so if any of these... My, my thought was the first helmet might be good for the Red Prince, depending on what he's got equipped already, because it gives wits and it's got some good physical armor in it. He needs 14 strength to wear it. Oh, yeah. okay. That's a shame. Yeah. Um... What what does what helmet does the Red Prince have? Because I identified the helmet and it gives Huntsman, which I think he he goes into. I mean, it's um, a level. And that's. Hmm? It's a level fifteen legendary that gives him plus one Huntsman and plus two finesse. Oh, okay. It's a really good. One, um, if you think. Are his boots fine? Because. This his... is 268 physical, 182 magic, yeah, it's legendary. I mean, he can have better boots. He could have better boots. Because if if not those, I'll just take the helmet and sell it. <laughs> so. Uh, I mean, if, if the, the boots he can use, so. Okay. Uh, I'll send him the helmet, but you can, if it's no good, then you can send it back to Beast for selling. Because it, it requires finesse 14, and I don't think anyone else would have that. My, my finesse is 5. So. This room back here, by the way, has some source left in it. Um, yeah, Beast needs some source, so I recommend you get it. And there's a book on Isbel Isbel's notes. These bloodstained notes contain the gruesome details of experimenting of experiments done on prisoners here, including, interestingly, the amounts of source that were extracted from each of them. Interesting. Well, we've done quite a bit here. I really like what they did with that. Rather than going the classic bad guy and we fight Justinia, I I really love what they did there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. There's paintings here too. Yes, Thanks. there are paintings there. I leave that up to your capable hands.
Really glad that these barrels and crates are so clearly marked. I would hate to have opened one of these crates without any markings of death fog and have it surprise there's death fog. <laughs> that would be annoying. We've had enough surprise death fog for one day, I think. Yes. So were the people that we killed, were they eternals? That just now? I Yeah, like the the I don't the Queen's advisor and stuff, because she was undead. I if, don't think If I understand it right, undead and eternals are not the same things. Eternals yeah. are a particular type of race that right. um existed that they just happened to look like standard undead and we found out with through Fane's story that they actually became the god woken but not the god woken the void woken um uh, okay. they found kind of like a barrier of source and attempted to penetrate it and became void woken you mean dark spawn they turned into so, yeah they basically. were trying to reach <laughs> godhood and they instead became dark spawn yep I found an well, unidentified staff as well. Oh, cool. Oh, God. I think we also drew comparisons to Solus as well. The whole, mm -hmm. you know, building the barrier there to keep them away. Ooh. I found a bit of a treasure room here, Beast, with more paintings and other goodies, it looks like. <sighs> Ooh. An unidentified helmet. Or amulet, rather. As well as... Oh! This is interesting. What did you find? One-handed mace. Take a look at this beast, if you're interested in that mace. Um... Oh, whoa. Uh, beast, you might want to look at this purely because it has a plus one in bartering. Or unless you've maxed that already. I haven't maxed it. Okay, yeah, so this necklace gives a plus one in bartering if you don't already have a super cool necklace. I'll switch it out whenever I... Okay, I'll send it to you. Uh, perfect. All right. Where was that weapon? There it is. Holy smokes. This uh, sewer had quite a lot to it. Yeah. All right. I think it's time for us to move towards the surface here. Ooh, it's got wolves as the hand or as the mace part. That's awesome. Well, that unlocked something. Or locked it. I'm heading over to see where this um, ladder over here takes me. I'm not in webbed and webbed. Oh. Stupid webbing. Yeah. Point. Nice. And oh. Not really sure what to make of this area. Hmm. Oh jeez. Hmm? It's to the south. South. 
Oh, somebody locked up a child? Looks like it. Right. Oh, and a creepy ritual. Nice. There seems to be a lot of uh, body parts in here, Sabiel. Disembodied foot, bloodied armor, some snackage. Mm. A jar of mind maggots. <laughs> ah, fighting does give me an appetite. No one else wants it. There do seem to be some paladins here. I'm wondering if we are actually underneath the cathedral. Oh, it could be. It's possible. You are the hand. You are the hand that hurts. The hand that kills. The hand that bleeds them dry. You are the hand that listens to Magister Timort's head. Uh huh. <laughs> You are the foot. You are the foot that aches to run away. The foot that remembers the feel of grass under his foot so long. You are the foot that listens to Magister Timort's heart. Mm. Hmm. Uh, this is very deep philosophical. Yeah, like, I need a second to ponder this. Take a look. Check out the Red Prince's helmet, by the way. Ooh. Look at that. It's like massive. Yeah. How, how does yes. he see through it? That little eye oh my. Where are all the prisoners? Finally, your Where highness, you found the helmet that can actually encase your very large head. Yes, yes. Maybe they were shipped to Fort Joy. Not according to this. Besides, they weren't saucy. The damn cells were empty. I how we can just walk in and talk to them. Hundreds, but yeah. they're not here. They're gone. We just came from the dun from the sewers. Don't mind us. Um. Who are you? Did Lord Kem send you about the missing prisoners? Missing prisoners? Have you looked into Fort Joy? These were no sorcerers. These were thieves and drunkards, imbeciles and liars, heretics and fools. The good people of Arx, in other words. They did not go to Fort Joy. They vanished. This sounds more like something Fane would say, but... You know there are prisoners missing. You can't prove a negative. How would you know there are prisoners missing? You can't prove a negative. The jailer's records are clear. 564 men and women were signed in and never signed out again. I'd say this was an oversight in record keeping, but I know some of those names. And they are nowhere to be found. Be sure that we won't let this lie. Maybe they escaped. Well, escaped. not our problem. 500 of them? Man, you must be really bad at your jobs. Come on, let me I wish not you could. Our problem. It's a waste of time. The magisters are long gone. There's no one left down here. Nice stuff behind you. The magisters are doing with a paladin. The creature that has it weighs off limits. Really, Dallas's last day back for your own good. There's a nice. Oh, there's some. There's a chest back there. Oh, sorry. Yes, he's. Yeah, they yelled at me when I tried. So, uh, what is who or what is behind this door? Hmm. Found the undead freak here already chained up by the magisters. They say she's a witch. Ah, oh, more undead. Can't stand those undead. Her voice freezes into a harsh whisper. I say she's a demon. Who is this witch, and what makes her so dangerous? Creatures like this Windigo. They oh! They themselves, spread their black magic to children with their songs and stories. Makes me sick. Our little <laughs> ones, tools of demons. <laughs> 